Welcome to Kootenai Casting, I'm Elias Lucy, and today we're ice fishing. We're at Cottonwood Lake BC, as you can see it's very pretty, it's a beautiful sunny day, and uh, we're ice fishing like I said before. We're going to be using a sonar, we're going to have three cameras rolling, a GoPro for underwater footage, the flasher camera, and this camera filming us. Uh, we're going to be using just some random bait and some ice fishing rods. We're hoping we can get maybe one or two fish, maybe a couple keepers. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, we'll see. So today we're going to be using a variety of different baits. Um, just some power bait mallows. These have worked very well for us here in the past. Never tried these here before, but some power bait worms. You know, they might work. We also brought some shrimp. And all of these baits we're probably just going to have on a little jig head, like this here. Also brought a few jigging spoons and rattling rapalas. You know, give them a shot, but definitely the best uh, bait for here is just power bait on a jig head. There's a mark on me right now. Why well, just got a mark? Very interested. Lifting up. I'm gonna try to just hold it still a little bit. And fish. I've got him. Fish on. Yeah. Seems like a good one. It's pulling drag. Oh no, I'm stuck on the ice. Fish. Just lost one. Damn. Stuck on the ice. Yeah, so what happened was there was a bit of a slushy layer under the ice and my line, this little sturgeon's knot here, got caught and which allowed the fish to have some slack and it just popped right off. I that was will. a good fish too. We'll get another one. Yeah, we'll get one more. At least. cam isn't rolling but I currently have a mark on me right now. It's been weird. That was really odd. Huh. Fish! Oh, beautiful native. First fish landed of the day. This guy just wants to go right back in. There he goes. First fish. Well, our traditional power bait on a jig head method just hasn't been working so far. So I'm going to switch up to what he's using, which is just a shrimp on a tiny jigging spoon. Or even I think that just a shrimp on a jig head would work great too. I might give that a try. It's 
So on the big red mark down on the bottom, and if you look just a little bit above it, that's some line disturbance. So I've switched up to just a little shrimp on a jig head, and I'm going to drop that in and give that a try. Wow. I just had this mark come in from above. That is so interesting. It's a big one too. I just had him on. Look at that. He's very intrigued. Elias just hooked up to a beautiful rainbow trout when the camera wasn't rolling. And he just caught this massive cottonwood-like rainbow. This is one of the biggest fish we've ever caught out of this lake. We're going to keep this one. This one's a beautiful fish. It's a beautiful fish. They're stocked, so we're going to keep them. So we're going to dispatch them quickly. I just caught this fish. Beautiful cottonwood-like rainbow trout. Uh, dispatched him, and he's still moving around, but that's just his muscles. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep him to eat. He's gonna be really amazing. Thank you, fish. Galen just caught a trout. I'm cursed. What? I'm cursed. I just got a fish out of the hole and it fell back in. So a really funny thing just happened. I've been fishing at a couple holes over there off frame, just to see if there's anything in there. I've got a few bites, but I haven't been able to hook them. And I finally hooked one, and I got it up through the hole, and we weren't able to get any footage of it because just as I got it through the hole, it fell off and swam back down. So, I mean, I guess that's a fish for me, but a little bit disappointing. So I've been getting a lot of bites out of this hole, and just got my bait. I came back, grabbed my off some new bait and I'm gonna try and hook up to this fish. Finally I managed to get this fish to bite on the shrimp and stay on. Notice these fish are a lot darker in the winter. Anyways he actually just choked it. He's hooked right in the top of the lip perfectly. I'm gonna let him go. you got to remember when you're ice fishing at the end of the day we're not quite done yet but you have to mark all your holes when you're done otherwise somebody could fall in or you know a pet could fall in or something and it's just not safe so you got to make sure you just put a little stick even inside your hole so that people know it's there